Well, good morning, my Pisceans. Happy Friday, happy weekend. We made it another week in the books. Uh, we are doing your reading. I am doing bonus reads on Sunday, top three viewed highest signs. You guys, you know, you guys been a bonus read quite a bit. You know how it works. It's, um, it's just designed to feel like personal reading and overall, I mean, overwhelmingly, that's how people said it feels. So I am doing that. And also, if you haven't yet, please feel free to like and subscribe only if you're kind of, you know, feeling my vibe. If you kind of like what I'm doing, uh, it's resonating, you want to see more, please feel free. I appreciate it. I've been doing this 11 months, just blown away by you guys. And Pisces, you are a big reason um, I'm where I am. I, I mean, that you actually show up, I'm just blown away. So let's get to it. I'm not, I don't have the ring light on because it seems like there's enough natural light. Let me know. I'll know in future, but it also kind of just messes with me too. I'm not a big ring light person, but yeah, as it's necessary, I get, but I think we have enough light going on. So nine of cups at the bottom of the main deck. The main deck today is Tarot of the Mystical Moments. You know, I, I use that a lot, but it is kind of like a perfect deck. So why not? What That's your energy. What's below it? Page of cups reverse, which I always think of this as you. Look at that, isn't that cute? Talking to a fish. And right before I came up here, I have an orange fish named Eugene, and that's exactly how I look at him. I'm telling you, I love that boy. So page of cups reverse, nine of cups, but king of pentacles. Is there a Pisces not speaking to somebody? Hmm, nine of wands reverse, ready to give it up? What is going on? Over here, clarifying deck, queen of cups reverse, and judgment reverse, and the justice. Maybe somebody's just not given to you. And you have given and given and you're just not getting it back. Soulmate connection, yes. But could be third party, yes. That's possible too. All righty, Pisces. Now, this story could be completely different. What's about to appear like a magician on my table? Or it could be more of that. That just could just be a small little confirmation for somebody out there. That, I mean, I don't know. The Queen of Cups reverse, it doesn't look like that's changing. Okay, general energy for my Pisceans. General energy for my Pisceans. If you are a Pisces, no Pisces, feel like being a Pisces. Pisces, I'm glad you're here, which means this could be your story being a Pisces. This could be your story being anything but a Pisces, but because you're dealing with a Pisces here, you are watching and you are the main show. It doesn't matter. Yeah, it's be so that's just how energy works. General energy for my Pisceans. General energy, six of swords reverse, six of swords and a six of pentacles upright. I like that, like that. Okay, general energy, what is this card? Hierophant reverse, not coming together. Taurian energy. What's influencing the Hierophant reverse? What's influencing the Hierophant reverse? There it is. What is it? Chariot reverse, yeah, it's just not coming together. And this feels like there was a lot of desire there too. It's, 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 it's definitely a soul connection. It feels like a soul connection, but something is just not coming together. Or you could be a Pisces that is done with something, done given to someone over here, Queen of Cups reverse, judgment reverse entails that it, it, it's, it was many cycles and it's never going to come together because there's nothing to come together anymore. Okay, what is the reason for the reading? Why are we all here today, kids? What is it? Why are we all here today, Pisces? What is it? Nine of Swords. I kept seeing that when I was shuffling. Nine of Swords. Stressed. It could be somebody. Reason for the reading, Pisces. Now, you could be stressed because something's not coming together and you're feeling it's time to cut it out, okay? That, that's definitely a story there. There's also a story that because you're leaving, because you're in something that's just, you're with attached to somebody who's not emotionally doing it for you. I might have to turn the light on guys. I don't know if that really helps, but you're not, you're with somebody that's just not emotionally fulfilling your needs on every level that counts. And you, chariot reverse, I feel already, look at that page of cups and the emperor, take control and not be pushed around anymore. You know, you are a knight of cups. And it doesn't mean you're weak just because you wear, you know, you have a pure heart. This is a, this is a Pisces taking big control. Anyway, but this nine of swords could be who you're leaving behind. Watching you, seeing that you're gone, seeing that you're about to leave and they're stressed. I feel two storylines here. What's in the past? What's in the past? What happened in the past? 
strength holding on. Maybe you thought you that's like literally taming the beast, holding on, trying to get them to see your way, trying, you know, hoping beyond hope that they're going to come around and give you what you need or start this thing or be who you, you really feel like they can be. You know, we can sit there and marry someone's intentions all we want, but I mean, that's, that's kind of fantasy land. It's, it's the actions that, that are important. All right. What is on your mind, Pisces? What's on your mind? What is on your mind? Magician. I just said that. What kind of magician? What are we going to have on our table? There you are. Virgo Gemini energy. Major Arcana, major and major and major. Wow. Five cards. Four of them are a major arcana. So for a Pisces out there, major arcana means these are, this is something that was destined to happen and it's out of your control. So if you're, if you're thinking, man, it could, you know, I, I was on the same page with somebody, but they're just not given to me anymore. They're, they're not talking to me. I don't know what's going on. And I mean, there, there is a lesson here that had to happen and there's nothing you could have done to make the outcome any different than what it is. Even that's true. Even if you are in a relationship and the outcome is you needing to, to move away from this, it, it, it's exactly how it's supposed to be. So you are, you find your own power within you find your own voice. And for that, remember with the emperor upright and the page of cups reverse, I just feel like you're just not going to be pushed around anymore either and being bullied into doing something you don't want to do. If you are in a relationship, for you relationship ones, or family ones, because it's not always about love. What's in the near future? What's in the near future? This is a very complicated storyline because it's multiple, and that's unlike your storyline, Pisces. Usually it's very clear. What's in the near future? What is it? Two of Swords Reverse. I actually feel this is making that decision because of anxiety, because of being stressed in a situation. You're making that decision to get yourself out of it, to keep yourself from being stuck. Whatever situation you've been in, either by trying to obtain something or you have something that's not working, it's it has kept you stuck, it's kept you unhappy, it's kept you stressed, right? In this nine of swords. And you are using it's like you're reaching in, in the depths of your disappointment and despair. It's causing you to reach from within and pull like a miracle out. Pull, you know, because usually the best things come from adversity. What ends up happening through unbalance comes like something really amazing. So that's usually what's buried in a lesson is abundance and strength. And when you do move on, you're going to right run into something where you really are supposed to be so you know it's kind of like this is a train that that took you on a detour and it dropped you off somewhere and you're like this was not on my to-do list today and in that detour you find exactly who you've been looking for but you were looking in the wrong places that's what that kind of feels like all right let's clarify this pisces what is going on what is this hierophant reverse and the chariot reverse Taurus and Cancer. What is this? Hierophant and the Chariot Reverse. Hierophant Reverse and the Chariot Reverse. Hierophant Reverse and the Chariot Reverse. Why is the Hierophant Reverse not coming together? See, this is, it's not coming together. Why it's not coming together? Because somebody is not moving their ass. Somebody may not be able to see any kind of reason to put effort in. And I feel like you, who, who you are in the situation, Pisces, you have done everything you can to make this come together and it's still not working and it's causing you stress. And the stress is maybe because you keep watching this person, if this is about love and trying to obtain a relationship and you're watching what they're doing, waiting for them to reach out and it doesn't happen. So you're going to have no choice in a magician energy to pull yourself out of this. What is this? The Hierophant Reverse and the Snail Reverse, the Chariot Reverse. It is this, you're waiting, yeah, Seven of Pentacles, just waiting, waiting for this person to come. And you know, I don't see them here. When I was shuffling, I was seeing bits of them and at the bottom of the deck before we started, they're just consumed in their own life. Now there was a Justice and there was a Three of Pentacles. Some of you know this person's already married or connected to someone else and they could have a family. And maybe they alluded that they were so unhappy and they were going to come, 
you know, come to come your way. It was a six of cups upright. So if you're, if the question is, did I, was this all in my head or, or weren't we, I mean, did they feel the connection? Yeah, I think they felt the connection, but they're not, it's a justice upright. They're not, I don't think they're leaving their, their situation right now. What is this nine of swords reason for the reading? What is the nine of swords reason for the reading? Why are we all here today? Yeah, page of wands. Page of wands. I like the page of wands, although he looks a little creepy. I'm not going to lie. He does look a little creepy. But page of wands. I think the idea of having you having to move away from this might give you a bit anxiety. Because I do feel like with the seven of pentacles, you could have hung in there for seven months. I mean, some of you could have hung in there for seven years. But holding on to someone, even for seven seconds, who's not giving you anything back, is seven seconds too long. And I think that's where the realization is, is, you know, I'm really meant, this was like a detour. This was maybe something to open me up, to get me, I was going to say, I was going to say something that I think that I caught it off because I would have came out very wrong, but to get you primed for who you really need to find. Okay. That's all I feel like this was because I can't shake this. In fact, I'm going to leave this out. This is really what it's about here. Three of cups, temperance reverse, and a 10 of pentacles. In the midst of all this imbalance and stress, who you end up finding in this three of cups and a 10 of pentacles is really where you're meant to be. But if you never met this person, Pisces, if you never stumbled online and you met this person or stumbled in the store and ran into them, I don't think you would have met this. That's was that's where the importance here is. It's not them. They were just a vehicle to get you where you really need to be. And this could even be about a new job too, especially, especially here with the Eight of Pentacles right here. This definitely, for you people out there not in a relationship, this definitely could be about a job and more money. Okay, what is the strength in the past? Keep saying shuffle. Tell me the strength in the past for my Pisceans. What is the strength in the past for my Pisceans? What is the strength in the past? And the Two of Pentacles. Trying to bring balance to an unbalanced situation. Trying to be more than, you know, I feel like you just put so much effort in. With this two, two of pentacles is Capricorn energy, first and foremost. Strength is Leo. Gosh, I can't stop seeing juggler, though. I really can't stop seeing that. There's the queen of cups and the ten of wands reversed. This queen of hearts. This this loving, loyal queen, who I think is you, and this needs to drop the burden, which is this. Because you did everything you can. And I honestly feel they are... Yeah, I definitely feel like you might be being juggled here. You could be a Pisces juggling someone else. It takes a lot of effort. And then, but yeah, I just feel like if this person was going to come around your way, they would have already. They would have already. And you holding on longer than you have is, I don't think it's going to change the outcome. If anything, what changes this outcome with this person is by you finally moving on and you over here. And then one day Pisces in the near future, we're going to have a reading that you're completely in love and tickling each other's toes under the sheets. And then the old energy wants back in. That's how that works. They don't really want what's available. They want what they can't have. What is the magician on your mind? What is the magician on Pisces mind? What is the magician on Pisces mind? Yeah, Emperor taking control. Wow. Aries, Gemini, and Virgo. I love that. Taking control in a very it, you're you're putting balance. Honestly, you're just putting balance in. You're you're making the decision. When somebody else wasn't making a decision before, you're you're forced to make this decision because the unhappiness is outweighing anything good that once was. Or any possibility here. What is the Two of Swords reversed in the near future? What is the Two of Swords reversed in the near future for my Pisceans? Two of Swords reversed in the near future. Queen of Swords. I love it. Queen of Swords sees it clearly. She makes that decision and she has no regrets. I feel, and these are both Libra energy, I really feel the decision you make, even if it's with a shaky finger and a shaky voice, you're going to know there's no regrets in it because I feel like 
it, it, I keep getting that. It's so weird, a train analogy. It's like you're going to get off, and if, in the instant you get off, it might be a little scary until you open your eyes or you start to wander, and then you, you're you going to stumble into something really new and for you. Seven of Cups reverse and Four of Cups reverse. Seeing a situation clearly that somebody kept you. This is gaslighting. Somebody has kept your head in the clouds for a reason to keep you available as an option. And this is a Pisces waiting for an elusive cup that's never going to come, which is how your fit reverse and chariot reverse, while ignoring other cups that could have came because you're sitting there and you're not really looking at it. So it's reversed because you're no longer waiting on that. And anything, anything, the magician and the emperor is like, and I think the biggest lesson here, Pisces, is you're not going to wait on anyone ever again. And speaking of, look at this big bad bitch. That's exactly what the empress does. She doesn't wait on anybody. If there's a train, she's not a train. This train is always running efficiently. And if you need to see an empress, you better run fast and keep up with her. She's not waiting. She's not running after anyone. She's, she's too busy expanding her life. This is a very high vibrational energy because this person has a lot of self-confidence. And they're not going to, if somebody makes an empress wait, she's gone. Because you know why? The first step in becoming an empress, you need to let your queen of swords come out. The, the empress that will not exist if your queen of swords is not out to play. Your queen of swords comes out and that's what teaches people how to treat you. You know, it's, it's, if people want you to wait, you're gone. The next time that person will come around, they're not going to make you wait. They're just, no, you're not going to wait on them. You're just not. You're not going to be anybody's second option ever again. You're not going to be anybody's seven of cups ever again. It's like, I'm your only cup or I'm, I'm, I'm not your cup at all. It's your choice. It's your choice. Where's the queen of cups at? I, I know where she is. Is she hiding? She kept, she was floating around at the bottom of the deck. Ooh, ace of pentacles and the page of pentacles reverse. I feel this. I'm telling you five of pentacles. What did I say? I don't know if I said it, but when you get off this train, it's going to feel like this. You're going to feel like you're in a foreign land. Five of pentacles. I don't know which way to go. But soon this happens, this new energies, the three of cups, the happiness and the 10 of pentacles and the eight of pentacles. If this is about a new job and starting a new job, of course it's gonna feel unsettled or if you're in between jobs. But when you get into this, this is gonna blow anything away from this. And because you're in this, ace of pentacles is like, oh, you know, the angels from the heavens are singing. But guess what we then have coming back? It's always how it works. A page of pentacles reverse. This feels like an apology that you will probably refuse because your queen of swords is always going to stay out from now on. Your queen of swords never forgets anything when people do stuff to her. She'll never forget what was done, been done to her because if you forget, you're going to allow it to come back in and even in a new form. But your queen of swords puts up the healthy boundaries. She demands respect. She's in, she and she doesn't let just anybody in. Who's ever in a Queen of Swords and an Empress of Circle, she handpicked. They she trusts these people. She she's shaken out and cut out the people who don't belong there, and that's what you're doing right now. So if you're a Pisces waiting on someone, the best thing you can do is stop thinking about them. I was gonna say stop, stop obsessing about them. Some of you might be obsessing about it. Is realize if this person really, really, really cared about you. They wouldn't want to see you ever like this. And they wouldn't want to see you like this because they know somebody's going to come and snatch that up and they don't want anyone else to have you. But what I'm afraid of is this person sees you like this and not even, and you're not even like this, like the cup he's, this person's ready to grab. You're like up here somewhere waiting for them to come around to, to come visit your, you and your cup. You deserve so much more than that. And you're going to get it as soon as you realize that you, you deserve more than that. It's all on your timing. It's not even God's timing. It's Pisces timing. It's Pisces saying, I've had enough. I've had enough of keeping my snail hooked up to a, like a, it's, it feels like it's waterless. It's, it's dehydrated, these lands, wherever you're at. And nobody's even around her. And you're keeping yourself available for somebody who doesn't even spend the time to come visit. I say enough's enough. Use the strength of yours and this balance and this pure heart of yours to people who actually deserve you. 
that's where you're happiness, Pisces. All right, my guys and gals, I hope you guys have a great weekend. I may see you Sunday. I may not, but I'll see you next week. You guys can't get rid of me that easily. All right, Pisces. Love you guys. Take care.